Hello, I'm Kay, and welcome to Mendoza's Corner. We will spend no more than five minutes each week discussing a topic related to the queer community. We'll define the topic, give you some cool facts about it, then provide some of our thoughts. This week's topic is terms used to define sexuality. Let's define sexuality first, which is a person's sexual orientation or preference. According to Bonnie Zimmerman, the study of homosexuality began in 1869, when a generation of medical doctors established the profession of sexology, the medical and supposedly scientific study of sex. Among its earliest points of study was inversion, a term that encompassed a range of behaviors and attitudes that would later be classified under homosexuality. The word homosexuality came around in the 19th century, with heterosexuality coming later in the century to contrast the earlier term. For those individuals who were not primarily attracted to one sex, the term bisexuality came around later in the 20th century. When it comes to women and the idea of lesbianism, which was a term created to identify a homosexual woman in the 20th century, women tend to fall under the radar of men. Lesbian relationships have often been deemed harmless, erotic, or complementary to relationships with men. After what we learned in this episode, I think understanding that this thing that so many of us feel didn't truly have a name, term, or definition goes to show there were many of us that existed in ancient times. Wow. Maybe when we look into the psychology of why someone is attracted to the same sex, we will better understand the evolutionary history behind sexual preferences. We want to get you interested in the topics that we share, but please don't just take our word for it. Go out, do some research in your downtime. We are always taking suggestions for topics for future episodes. Feel free to share with us a queer topic that you'd like for us to cover in five minutes or less. You can either comment or send us an email to info at itemanac.com. Next week, we will continue to discuss the subject of sexuality and look at it from a scientific perspective. Woohoo!